What's popping, Guardians? It's your boy King Doug the Seventh, and I have some great news for everybody. First of all, today is September fifteenth, two thousand seventeen, and those of you hardcore Guardians know what that means. Then again, you probably don't if you're like not as crazy as I am. Today's the first day that Zer's gonna be appearing in Destiny Two, and he brought some some goodies. So, first thing I want to tell you though is the way you find Zer, Zer's gonna be super easy to find apparently because it just shows where he is on a map and all you have to do is track him and then go straight to him. But he was probably gonna be able to appear in a bunch of different places on a bunch of different planets. So it would be kind of hard if it weren't for the tracking to actually find him. Second of all, it turns out that yes, I was correct. Everything that he's selling costs legendary shards. In total, if you have over 98 shards, you can afford everything that he has to sell. What does he has to sell, you ask? Let's look right at it. So he has a fusion rifle called Merciless. And the, uh, the exotic fusion rifle, the ability that it has is called Conserve Momentum. Non-lethal hits lessen charge time. How many times can that stack is what I'm really wondering. How short can this fusion charge be? That's what I want to know. This seems like a very good gun. I, I, it feels like it will be able to do a lot of damage in a short amount of time and rage and things like that. I love that. It has ride and flux. So this is a uh, hunter piece of chest armor. Quick successive attacks with arc staff increases damage output and duration. I already had this but I bought it again because it's a higher light level than the one that I have. <clears throat> I love this piece of armor. It makes your... It makes your uh your arc strider super goes so long like it i swear it make i feel like it lasts like a whole minute i don't know it feels like it lasts forever and like you end up one shotting like orange health servitors it's 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 a super good exotic piece of armor so far it's my favorite piece of exotic chest armor you have doom fang pauldron for titans shield bash melee kills recharge shield throw Melee abilities, recharge, sentinel uh, shield super. So, I don't play the Titan personally, but anything that recharges super abilities sounds like it's going to be a very strong super. So, that seems like it's worth a buy. And Wings of Sacred Dawn for the Warlocks. When Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair suspend you there for a short period of time. Precision hits extend this effect's duration. So this doesn't seem too good in my opinion. It has a bunch of mobility and some recovery. I don't really like flowing in the air. It seems like it's just an easy way to get shot up. But it looks cool. It looks really cool. And then um, the Titan armor is more about resilience and recovery. Uh, Hunter armor is more about mobility and resilience. And yeah, I'm liking all of the exotics so far. So let me give you guys a frame of like a reference point though. In Destiny 1, the first exotic weapon that was sold by Xur was, you may not, you may not know what it's called, you, you probably never heard it before, it's called a Gallahorn, you know, not many people, not many people heard of this gun, but it ended up being one of the strongest guns in the game, and it ended up being one of the rarest drops in the game, and it was the first exotic heavy that Xur ever sold, that was in Destiny 1. So if Destiny 2 is anything like Destiny 1, then maybe the Merciless is the next Gallonhorn. I don't know, man. It seems like it's a really strong, it seems like it has a really strong passive. I can't wait to test this gun out, play it in some strikes and things like that. Hopefully, if, if you guys like this content, you guys like what I've showed you, I gave you a good amount of information on Zero. You probably would have never figured it out if it weren't for me. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, you know. But if you guys enjoyed the information, enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel because I will have more information out for you in the future about other things Destiny related and maybe some things not Destiny related. And don't forget to like the video. This is King Dove7 signing out. Peace. Hear what I hear.